About a year ago, right before Thanksgiving, we introduced you to Mandy Keys. Mandy learned she had to find another place for her vegan sandwich shop, Community Cafe. We got notice in early November that we were supposed to be out by the end of the month. We uh, did negotiate one extra month. Um, so by uh, New Year's Eve, we had to be out. Community Cafe was located on Central Avenue in the Grand Central District of St. Petersburg. Finding a new place with the right equipment in a prime location was challenging during the holiday season. We were uh, looking for a space that had the commercial kitchen, the hood and the grease trap, um, and there just was not a lot available. And most places, by the time you, you saw a restaurant uh, that was leaving their space, somebody else was already in line. Seven weeks after being forced to move out on short notice, Mandy found a temporary solution at Allendale Methodist Church, where she hosted pop-up events. Our first weekend there, we did have a Drag Queen Story Hour. The Allendale folks were incredibly supportive of the Drag Queen Story Hour and excited, and it was wonderful. But by the time we had scheduled the second one, COVID had hit by then, so we had to cancel it. When the pandemic hit, uh, there were some grants that we qualified for and some that we did not because of our unique circumstances being in a kind of a limbo space. Despite having to close the book on Drag Queen Story Hour, Mandy continued to serve her vegan sandwiches at the church on the weekends. We feel incredibly lucky to have that space to uh, ride out the storm. But the storm didn't last much longer. A day before general election, Mandy signed a lease and received the keys to her new location. So speaking about riding out the storm, it seems like you got this new opportunity right when we thought we were getting out of the storm of, of COVID, but now you know the United States has over 10 million cases of COVID-19 but you still got a space and you're still pushing forward with your business. How did this all unfold for you? Well, we knew that we didn't want to be moving in right now anyway. So we're incredibly lucky that uh, the space that we are moving into is in the middle of renovations. So it will not be ready until uh, early next year. I have an obsession with flamingos. Oh, do you? Well, it started as a joke when I moved here from Wisconsin because, you know, it's South Florida. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> maybe that's more of a sign that this was supposed to be our space. <laughs> By the time we are moving in and starting to launch, we'll obviously be taking a lot of uh, safety measures and social distancing, which is very easy to do since it's such a large building. Most importantly, it's going to be even more community. We're going to be doing a collaborative group uh, space with different uh, local businesses. So what are we going to do back here? put a sale up and um, have uh, some of our, our herbs and planters back here as well as seating obviously. Middle of a pandemic, small business owner, what was the biggest takeaway for you? A, a year ago when we lost our space, I felt completely that everything was over and my, my business that I had spent eight years building, um, my life's mission of connecting people and bringing people together, that all of that was washed away. And in, in an instant, because I had no, uh, no, no warning that it was coming, and it just felt completely overwhelming. But and I, I have a feeling that a lot of people that are are dealing with the, a lot of small businesses that are dealing with the pandemic right now are feeling similarly. Sometimes you know you one door closes, so another one can open, and it's going to be even better than you ever imagined, especially during the time when you felt so completely overwhelmed as I did. So community is everything. Uh, if you are taking care of your community, they're going to take care of you.